Hey guys, welcome back in this Python series. So today we are going to learn uh, the third part, which is the Python logical operators. And the previous video we talk about uh, assignment operator and comparison operators. So today we are going to learn logical operators. So basically, logical operators are used to combine conditional statements. Okay. Here we are combining conditional statements. So there should be a condition and we are combining different conditions and we want to know that these conditions are true or not. So there are three different type of logical operator. The first is and, and or, or not. So these are three different operators. So first and. So the meaning of and operator is here, is here that return, return true return true if both statements are true okay so for example i'm i'm taking the example but you know uh, when i will write the code in visual studio code you will understand more easily and quickly so i'm not going to here tell you i'm only telling you definition of these operators okay so the or operator the meaning of operator is here return true return true if one of the statements is true sorry here not on here one o and e on one of the statements is what true okay so there is a two statements for example um mango is a fruit or mango is a wood so you know there is a one statement true so you are going to return true okay so the third operator is not not return false if the result is true reverse the result Okay, so if there is a result, there is a statement mango is fruit, so you are going to return mango is not a fruit. So reverse of true. Okay, let's have a look on Visual Studio Code. Okay, so I already created the a file of this logical operators and these are very easy and, and we are going to learn very quickly. So the first is end operator. So let's understand how it works in the what is the condition is there okay so i take in uh, three variables x y z and assign i assign values different different values x is equals to three y is equals to three and z is equals to five okay now according to the definition we are we are comparing two conditions and want to know that the condition are true or not so the first is if if a statement if this statement if x is greater than 2 yeah x is equal to 3 when 3 is greater than 2 and y is greater than 1 yeah 3 is greater than 1 so you know both the conditions are true both the conditions are true that's why the end operator is going to return true so you know if both the condition are true we are going to execute this statement after you know so it going to print it going to print great now check the second condition if x greater than 2 and y greater than 2 and z less than 2 you know yeah x is greater than 2 true y is greater than true yes true z is less than 2 no here z is equal to 5 but you know what is written here? J is less than two. No, this is not correct. That's why, because you know, if the one condition is false, then all then whole statement will going to result false. If this condition is false, then we are going to execute the else part. Let's see uh, what is the output. Okay, I am running this program. So, what the output we are getting? Yeah, great and correct it. Great and correct it. Okay, let's see another, another operator which is or operator. You know, according to the definition, what exactly there was? If any one condition is true, then it's going to return true. Okay, I take the same example here. There are three variables x is equals to 3, y is equals to 3, z is equals to 5. If x is greater than 2, x greater than 2 or y greater than 1. Okay, both conditions are true. 
So that's why this statement is true. It going to result. It going to return great. Okay, great. Now second if statement x greater than two. This condition is true. Y greater than true. This condition true. And z less than true. This is false. But according to the definition, if any condition is true, then it going to result true. So this is going to result sad. If this is true, this is going. This is returning anything that this statement is not going to execute. If something is true, then return this. Else this. So this is true that we are returning this, but not returning the else part. Okay. So let's uh, see. Let's have a look of. Uh, um, I'm I'm running this program. Let's see what is the output there. Great and sad. Cool. We got the correct output. Okay, let's understand the third very important operator, which is not operator. Okay, according to the definition, what exactly the definition is? If something is true, then return the reverse of this. Okay, if I'm telling this I am a girl, then return you are not a girl. Like I'm not a girl. So if I I I take in here x variable, x variable, if if not x means that there's nothing like x print boolean value of x is true if not x modulus you know we already discussed about modulus and we already discussed about mod modulus and equal to operators so here is three if we dividing if we doing that x modulus okay let's write in the name x x is equal to 10 so 10 modulus 3 is equal to 1 okay is equal to 1 and 10 modulus 5 is equal to 0 okay so this condition is true this condition is true and here is or means that it is going to result true it only this part is resulting me true but you know in the outside of this bracket there is written not so if something is true inside this bracket if there is not outside this so definitely it is going to result false you know just like that not true so definitely it is going to false okay so it is resulting in false so that's why we are not we are not executing this statement. We are coming in this print 10 is divisible by either 3 or 5. Okay. So let's see what is the output. Yeah. Only the last statement is true. 10 is divisible by either 3 or 5. Because you know both the statements, both the if statements, good false. Because you know not is there, so definitely x uh, x is equal to ten. This is true because there is something there inside x variable. But you know there is a no not uh, before the variable, so it is definitely it is telling that this is false. So that's why we are not executing this statement. We are not executing this statement. We are only executing this else statement. Okay. So I hope you understand this topic, this logical operator. And in the further videos, we are going to see another operators and uh, something important concept as well. In that another video, we are also going to understand order of evaluation of logical operators. So today we only understand what is logical operators and how it works. In the further videos, we're going to see the order of evaluation of logical operator. If there's a, a many operator um, within a one single line, so how, which in which order we are going to evaluate the logical operators. So I will make a separate video of this topic. So I hope you understand this and enjoy the whole video. Hey, if you enjoy this video and you are enjoying this whole Python series, 
so don't forget to like subscribe and share and uh, because we are going to make a lot of videos on python language as well as uh, different programming language so yeah bye and take care